welcome back everybody. As you can see here, we are actually settled into a new lab and we're going to start to kick off the new season of the GNT show to show you about the collimators for the Quantex. Oh, you mean primary beam collimators? Yes, Glenn. So there are actually five different size collimators. I have some examples here of what they look like. Okay, and to change it out, all you have to do is take out the position one and it's located right here on the primary beam side. So to replace the collimator, it's extremely simple. All you have to do is remove it with your fingertips and we put in a new one. So there are no screws, no tools, no alignment necessary. So this is super easy to do, right Glenn? Yeah, it looks really easy to me. Um, but I do have a couple questions. One is the, um, the material, the metal from that collimator itself. Don't, don't I see that in my data? So these collimators are engineered with special layering that you will only see elements from your material and not the collimators. Oh, that's awesome. So Tom, my second question is, why would I use the big collimator or the small collimator? So as you can see here, the, we're showing here a schematic of all the different sizes of collimators. If you want more sensitivity, like with the lighter elements, obviously use the bigger collimators. But if you want specifically to focus on a smaller size or where the uh, area of the sample that you want to see, use obviously the smaller collimator. Oh, okay, so if I have a small feature I want to see, I could just use a small one exactly. and just put it right there. Exactly. Okay, so my third question, Ton, is related to that. If I have a small spot like this on the screen there, is that going to be less, a lot less signal? Yes, as you can see here, obviously the smaller sample size, the smaller the collimator needs to be less signal. However, there are certain things that you can do to compensate for that by changing the filters or using different power. We hope you found this episode useful. Watch us next time when we use a camera in conjunction with the collimators to investigate the small imperfections in your sample. See you next time and remember to click the like button.